Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again for another DC review and in this DC review I'll be covering Superman 78 to which we have the uh, Superman finally, uh, finally encountering Metallo and last but not least we have Blue Beetle issue 4 I'll now get things organized for the first one that will be reviewed so as we jump into Superman 78 does this cover in any way shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story sure enough it does to which we do get to see a bit of a fight scene take place uh, between superman and Metello. to which i give the cover a 7.5 out of 10 thank you robert venditti so next let's move into the area of the internal art as we have a look around the beginning middle and of course the end and also what's happening story-wise with the characters so as the story begins, we end up meeting Metello in US airspace. And whilst this is occurring, we have Superman, aka Clark Kent, who is also taking Lois Lane to the Fortress of Solitude. As we start to advance a little bit further in the story, uh, around the midway point, we finally get Superman finally going up against Metello. And of course, he does somewhat get his first beat down. And we also get to see what else is happening whilst um, Lois is at the Fortress of Solitude. And Superman comes face to face to whom Metello is. So for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. Uh, first thing first, do we get anything time-wise addressing when this is taking place? Um, is it happening throughout the morning, afternoon, night? No indication. Or at a specific time, no indication. Next is the location. It is the 70,000 foot above the Bering Sea. So that's where we see the jet. That also gets taken down by Metello. We also get to see the North Pole, to which we also see the Fortress of Solitude. And where Lois Lane is taken to by Superman. The cast of characters consisting of Metello, Superman and Lois Lane. For the overall story rating in this, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the Blue Beetle, issue 4. So, as we begin to move into Blue Beetle issue 4, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside of the story? Uh, it does, to which I give it a 7 out of 10. I'll now move into the internal art as we have a look around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. And also what's happening story-wise with the characters. So, as the story begins, we end up meeting some, I guess, rando-type characters. Uh, we get Brenda... And we get the mention of the name of Lex Luthor. I'll now move towards the middle of the story. As we start to advance towards the middle of the story, we end up seeing the characters, I guess, um, making their way to a bit of a disco of sorts to catch up with their nightlife. Uh, we don't get the name of everyone that's here, which is a bit of a bummer. And last but not least, we end up having Jaime Reyes catching up with Starfire in the story. Until, of course, his plans are sort of like um, interfered with, uh, with someone else who turns up on the scene. Moving into the next thing, and that is the area of the story racing. So, oh, for the art, I gave it a 7 out of 10. For the time, or for the area of time for story rating, we got no indication, none at all. Um, really lazy, both on the writer's part and the editors. 
Uh, the location, again, lazy on both the writer and editor's part. I want to know where this is taking place. Come on. Like, even if I'm a new reader to this series, and this is the first issue I pick up, I want to know these things. But if you don't want to sell your comic, and you want to see your comic in the $1 stash, and I'm hardly selling anything, you're going the right way about it. So, moving into the cast of characters, something that we sort of did actually get quite a bit of, we got the character of uh, Brenda, uh, Lex Luthor mentioned by name, Jelmara Parco, uh, Jaime, Reyes, Jaime Reyes, Blue Beetle, how about we change his name to the Scarab instead of the Blue Beetle, or the Blue Scarab, like it's, um, at least Ted Cord still keeps the name Blue Beetle, um, next we have some additional side characters, Fadeway and Gimmick, and last but not least, the character of Starfire. The overall story rating I give is a 6.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.